ever notice how some people just seem to be happier than others? Well, we want to know what's their secret. Well, a doctor at the Mayo Clinic says some people are actually born happier than others. Our Lewis Bolden looks at the science here and what it could mean for all of us. Even walking down the street, have you ever noticed some people just seem happier than others? A big smile here, a kiss there. Even when you ask husband and wife Bob and Nancy Diffenworth, you get different answers. How happy are you? Fine, very happy. How happy do you consider yourself? Average. So why is it? I asked Dr. Amit Sood, who literally wrote the book, The Mayo Clinic Handbook for Happiness. He says some people are biologically predisposed to be happier than others. Our brains are wired differently. That has to do with our genes, uh, how our intrauterine environment was. Our what? I had to look that one up. Development that takes place in the uterus. Got it. What kind of early upbringing we got, what kind of role models we saw. So, so that is how some people are naturally inclined, but others have to struggle. So whether you're naturally happy or not, Dr. Sood says, like getting in shape, you can get happy. He says 40 to 50 percent of your happiness depends on the choices you make. So do you have any, um, any rituals that contribute to your happiness? No, maybe a couple glasses of wine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dr. Sue developed a four step plan to getting happy. And sorry, Nancy, it doesn't include wine. He says number one, sharpen your attention span by being present in the moment. Number two, develop a more mature perspective that includes gratitude and compassion. That's something Shirley Miglio takes to heart. And be good to people, and religion comes into play, and just being a very good person. And I think naturally you can be happy. Dr. Sood also says develop a mind body practice like meditation or yoga and develop healthy habits like exercise. Heck, you can even take up juggling. And if you do that, you might end up like Bob Diffenworth, who says on a scale one to ten. Ten. You're a ten. Ah, uh, maybe nine to ten. <laughs> I'm still working on it, trying to get a little happier. Okay. <laughs> Another exercise to focus your attention, Dr. Sood recommends you start your day with gratitude. He says as soon as you open your eyes, think about five people you're grateful for and one by one send them silent gratitude. Be happy. That is great advice. And Shelly, I'm a happy person. I've been smiling since I was a baby. What about you? I, I would say the same thing, but I do like Nancy's secret wine. As for juggling, I think that would just lead to some frustration. Yeah. So, uh, think, interesting story. Thanks a lot. The Lewis. world would be a better place if everybody just smiled at each other and said, how are you doing? Ask that one question. Right, because yeah. it's contagious. That's right. Well, if you want to see an extended interview with Dr. Sood and about how you can get what he calls intentional attention, just head to our Facebook page right now. That's facebook.com slash local six.